BMW R9T. One of the most desired motorcycles among cafe racer enthusiasts. And it should be. Because it is also an excellent choice. For this reason, it should be equally one of the most popular motorcycles on this channel. Right? But it isn't. I have just realized this very recently. Believe it or not, more than two years have passed since I presented a project based on the R9T. This means today, the period of absence is going to end. And just to compensate, you are going to see a beautiful BMW, but twice. Welcome to Racer TV. Distinctively beautiful, isn't it? I say beautiful because it really is. And distinctively because it is different from most projects based on this motorcycle. But this is easy to explain. The real lines and the matte finish paint are some of the builder's usual features. This fantastic machine was built by Jens von Braun and his JVB Motors team in Germany. All of their projects have a very distinctive style which can never be confused with another builder. Clean, aggressive, and very minimalist. This particular project is based on the R9T Racer. The Cafe Racer version that BMW launched to compete with their rivals. It is frequent to read some criticisms about the possible lack of comfort on some custom projects. But this is not going to happen today. If you pay attention to this transition, the JVB Motors clip-ons are now in a higher position. Therefore, the riding position is much more comfortable than the stock version. To make this possible, JVB Motors team had to install a new top triple tree. The front fairing was practically untouched. But this beautiful LED headlight really makes the difference. But what is even more interesting on this project, is that everything was made, with no cuts or weldings on the frame. And this is where we find the cleverness, of JVB Moto's vision. Most of the body parts, can be reproducible and bolt on, in the standard R9T. If you visit JVB Moto's website, you will find most of this project's body parts. Overall, it is an impressive and unique transformation that really improves the lines of what was already beautiful. But now it's time to see today's second project. It is a completely different approach from the previous project but it certainly deserves our attention. To be honest, I've had this BMW on my list of favorites for more than two years. Unfortunately, I never had access to enough photo material for a full video. Do you remember that kind of project in which the motorcycle became apparently older than it was? This machine is precisely one of those I like it not only because of this feature, but especially, for being fully loaded with class. What a beautiful machine. I bet you had to look twice, just to confirm that it really is based on the R9T. Didn't you? If you did, don't worry. Because I remember doing the same thing, when I saw it for the first time. 
This is the work of Willie Knoll, owner of Clutch Custom Motorcycles, located in France. Just like the previous project on this video, this one is also a very different R9T. Probably the most elegant I've ever seen. Never thought this motorcycle could get so classic. But we have to realize that such radical transformation demands hard and extensive work. The modern stance of the standard model almost vanished on this transformation. Everything became much lower and horizontal. Curiously, the suspension travel and ride height is precisely the same from factory. And here is how Willy did it. The secret is right here on this section. He created this new rear substructure, which allowed the mounting of this classic and horizontal seat. And to continue this classic stance, a new custom fuel tank was obviously necessary. Another interesting change are the wheels. The rims now have 18 inches, although the full diameter of the tires is maintained. An apparent insignificant modification. But when we see the final result, it really makes the difference. Although most people will never know exactly why. The main reason is simple. Most old classic motorcycles always have a horizontal low stance which is usually completed with 18 inch wheels and that is precisely what you see on this project the seat and fuel tank are obviously important parts of this classic look but the smart and invisible details are always the ones that make things stand out and now you know why some projects look more special than others. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week.